has turned dry, but you shouldn't be surprised if you see pesky mosquitoes still flying around. Here with ways to get rid of the skeeters, CI home sponsor, Mosquito Squad. Lisa Bohannon joins us. And Lisa, where have you been all my life? <laughs> well, Man, I hate mosquitoes. <laughs> by nice. far the worst part of summer. I haven't found very many people who do like mosquitoes or any of those outdoor blood suckers um, for it. But we've been around for the last four. This is our fourth season, so... Um, up until then, I, you know, you have an excuse for not having them get rid of, but since now, now that you know, there's no excuse. We can get rid of them for so you. So the Mosquito Squad is not a squad of mosquitoes. It's a squad of people who get rid of mosquitoes. Eliminators. We are the <laughs> squad eliminators. Perfect. We should edit that part, yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about how you go about doing sure. that, because obviously I think homeowners want to make sure that it's safe. Correct. For them and maybe any animals in their home. Right. So how does it work? So the first thing is we have options. We do have traditional programs as well as all natural. Um, most of our clients do prefer the traditional traditional eliminator. Um, and what that is is a 21-day program. We come in, we're going to spray your foliage, your greenery, the shrubbery. Any cool, damp place that mosquitoes and ticks like to harbor is going to be our target zone for your property. Um, all of that is customized based on um, your property because no property is the same. Um, so for example, um, we'll spray all the grass in some properties that don't have a lot of trees or shrubbery. We will spray the entire grass area. On a property that has a lot of foliage and just a natural barrier between um, kind of the perimeter of their property, we don't typically have to spray all of the grass because mosquitoes really don't like the grass, especially if it's trimmed, mowed regularly. Yeah. Um, it's too hot for them. Um, they like those cool, damp places um, better during the day. Um, so what happens is we know from research and biologists that mosquitoes like to harbor in those little cool damp places and then in the evening when it cools off and you're outside trying to enjoy your yard they come out and attack you <laughs> um, so and literally can attack you mm -hmm. um, so what we do is when we treat that we're gonna eliminate them on contact um, with it and then the residual that's left up there up to the 21 days is when new ones harbor in then they'll be eliminated and the nice thing about mosquitoes they're relatively easy to eliminate um, they are weak flyers they don't fly really well and they don't see well so when she now I get to refer to women here okay because it's only the female that's a blood sucker that's gonna bite you oh. Interesting. it is yes so we have that reputation for one reason and it probably comes from mosquitoes from the history of that but <laughs> another reason not to like them right, <laughs> right. <laughs> just mosquito yes. Yes. Not yes. Women. Sorry, just yes. <laughs> clarify that although we do outnumber you here right now so better watch you do, it. I know. Right. the right. door is right over there I know where it is. so uh, we do know that the female why she's trying to bite you she's trying to get a blood meal um, she is trying to lay eggs and repopulate, and that's her goal in there. Um, so as she's flying, so we've treated your yard, everything's great, but your neighbor's not treated right. Um, so as new ones migrate out of their yard, they're, she's going to come in and try to detect you on your back patio. Are there ways that uh, homeowners can sort of watch out for some of those trouble spots ahead of time? I mean, before you guys come, obviously that's going to do the job completely, but some of those places where water tends to show up and mosquitoes tend to breed? Absolutely. Um, so as we eliminate the new ones populating in there, part of it is prevention. And how we like to prevent is education with our clients. So we don't expect them to know this right away, but the first time that we're out there, our technician does do a walk around and he's going to inspect the property for that water retention areas that you don't even think about. Um, some water we can eliminate and that's easy. Um, my technicians are, trip, are trained on what we call the five T's. We like to tip, toss, turn, watch for tarps, and then we treat. Um, so it's really not that we're just coming in there just to spray your property to eliminate these things. We're trying to come with an overall uh, method of it. Um, surprisingly, frisbees in the yard, kids playing, mm -hmm. kids dump trucks, kids cups, everything. Um, when this frisbee is tipped upside down, it, it holds it holds water. Perfect, water. Yep. You know, these rains that we've been getting, granted it's drying out a little bit, but we're still getting those nighttime showers, daytime pop-up showers, and water sits in here. The kids don't come back out into the weekend. It's too late. Populations have already started. Um, it's been reported that just a water, uh, you know, a cup of the water that you take the w bottled mm -hmm. water, just that can hold up to 300 eggs. Oh um, my for a yeah. That's disturbing. So, yeah, multiply that by something that could be in here. Um, another real harboring area are your flower pots. Um, you know, most of our flower pots have the hole in it so that it can be healthy plants. Uh, but what happens is down here in this crisper of the yeah. plant, there's standing water in there. Um, another really common one that our technicians watch out for are the corrugated um, 
uh, gutter, like gutters gutter. coming down. Yeah. Yep. And then these that are the diffuser. So you've got your gutter coming out here, diffusing. Wonderful while it's raining. However, when it stops raining, most gutters, and that's why I brought this one that kind of shows the, the decay here of where that water has been sitting all that time. How do people get out, get you out to do a uh, treatment? Is it just a phone call? It is out, just or? a phone call. Um, we can do a quote right over the phone. We just pull your property up. Thank you, technology. <laughs> uh, pull up your property, um, look it up, and can give you a quote right over the phone. And we usually can get people routed within seven days of a phone call. And then how long does this treatment last? All this, summer? This treatment lasts 21 days. So we oh, come back, days. we put you on a regular routine every 21 oh. days. Events are a little bit different. We can come out and do a barbecue event application. Oh. So we do also a one-time application as well as get you on. Most people like the 21 yeah. days. Have your people over for a barbecue. Yeah. I'll give you guys a call. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. I also wanted to mention your family owned, which is fantastic. Right. And then you also support and sponsor Malaria No More. So that's we a do. great cause to, to support. We do. It's a global effect, so we're very local. Um, and actually, my four kids is exactly why we started the business, um, because they are mosquito magnets. <laughs> so uh, we wanted to resolve the problem in our yard. Once we knew we could do that, we wanted to do it for everybody. Yeah. Well, it's a wonderful you. service. Thank you so much for being here and for doing what you do. And yeah. Thank you for having mosquitoes me. Mosquitoes no afternoon. more. <laughs> you to make a great Father's Day gift, too. <laughs> it would, too. actually. We're well, going to have all, all the information at um, saliving.tv on how you can connect with the Mosquito Squad.